there and today we're going to be testing out my words were coming out like way too fast then and I like my mouth couldn't actually keep up but today we're going to be testing out some of the fantastically exciting makeup that I hauled um, in my previous haul video. I do just want to address the rhinoceros in the room prior to going forward with the video. Yes, I am in hair limbo right now. The limbo bizarre stage of quite unsettling and a little bit embarrassing stage of after you've bleached your hair but not yet toned your hair because it got too late after you bleached it and you were just quite sick and bored of doing stuff to your hair so I've not toned it yet so that's why it's looking very brassy and yes yeah, so anyway that's that situation but okay so today we're going to be testing out this eyebrow fork this is what I'm going to refer to it as it's by Music Flower it calls itself a liquid eyebrow pen but I call it the eyebrow fork because it looks like a fucking fork okay next we're going to be trying out the you can be gold highlighter stick uh, this is probably the item that i'm most excited about uh, because it's a beautiful yellowy gold shade so we're going to be trying this out first next we're going to be trying out the miss rose double ended Mm -mm -mm. double ended a uh, lip product we have a lip liner on one side and a lipstick on the other side so i'm looking forward to that nifty little shindig of a product and finally we have a fuck 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 all your cream eye pen situation so this is in the shade oh no i threw away the box and oh luckily it's still in my bin because i don't regularly empty my bin i mean go me Go, go Mrs. Unmessy under here. Well, it paid off today, didn't it? So, yeah, this is in the shade um, Cherry Blossoms, which is my favourite flower. Is it a flower or is it a tree? It's probably a tree. But if I just say a plant is a tree and a flower, like, are they both in the category of plants? And if so, I'm going to just say plants. I love Cherry Blossoms. Today, today, we're going to begin with the You Can Be cream highlighter stick this is in the shade 02 is that right shade 02 it's the number 02 this beautiful kind of yellow gold kind of color if i just do a little hand swatch just so you can see mm. It just looks so good right now. Okay, so all I have on right now is my found deliation um, and a little bit of concealer I just popped on under my eyes because I was feeling a little bit sassy today. So I thought, well, why not? I'm just going to apply this directly to my cheek in an act of complete disregard for how potentially blinding this could be. But I mean, the more blinding, the better, I say. Okay, so I'm just going to go like this. Why am I going like this? Like, why? I, why am I doing like mascara face to apply a cream highlight? I'm doing it again. I mean, what involuntary face movements do you do that when you're applying makeup? You just find yourself doing like, like this is my mascara face. I mean, what other faces do I have? I have contour face like this. This is contour face. Uh, blush face just looking like a crazed person um lipstick face actually i don't know what lipstick face is but anyway gosh okay that's beside the point okay so we've got it there uh, i'm just gonna use my finger just to blend that out it's not gold but it's like a kind of a yellowy kind of gold oh, i feel like it's just kind of completely disappeared oh one sec honey is shouting yes honey Go for it, honeys! Okie dokies, honeys! He doesn't know I'm filming. He, th he thinks I'm tidying. <laughs> no, not today, honeys. Anyway, okay, so look, look. Okay, so I feel like I can't really see it there. Oh, that's good, honeys! Very pleased to hear that. See you later, honeys! Love you! Do you ever feel like super naughty? You know, if your partner's like downstairs and you're upstairs in your woman cave, you know, just like swatching, trying on your different lipsticks and you're just up here like, I don't know. I don't know why that's something I should feel guilty about. I don't feel guilty, but it's just I should have been doing something else, you know, like tidying. 
no anyway okay so yeah i feel like we can barely see that so i'm gonna apply a lot more because i mean you can kind of see it now but if i just just kind of blend it out i was going to use a sponge to blend it but i feel like if i use a sponge it's going to be even less noticeable than my finger uh, they did have this in a couple of other shades as well i mean right okay so it's it's not bad um it's not bad but it does have a very yellow kind of a look to it which i don't really mind too much like i'm a huge fan of yellow just not on my hair um yeah i mean it's nice i mean it does catch the light nicely hmm i don't know guys i'm just gonna apply a little bit more to this side look i'm applying fat clothes because i feel like i didn't apply enough the first time last time the first time last time excuse me oh my gosh there's a guy walking past right now outside looks like he should have put on some suntan lotion yesterday factor you know spf 50 but he didn't he decided i don't need that and he's pink as pink as a lobster anyway i'm sure he's a great guy but should really take suntan lotion a little bit more seriously i feel okay so guys i don't know what to think about this i don't dislike it it's definitely doing what one would imagine it should do um but there's just something that I'm not loving about it. I feel like it's maybe not blended out as smoothly and flawlessly as I would really kind of wish it to on my face. But then again, you know, it is a cream which can always be a little bit tricky, you know, to blend out. You never know if you're going to get one that's going to like just glide over your face or one that's going to, you know, give you hell on earth trying to blend it um okay so i don't think i like it guys i don't think i do i think the shade of it is actually really quite unique um i know you're probably thinking i'm when i can barely see it right now i know i know what you're saying like i can see it quite a lot over there which doesn't help you out at all does it like how annoying is that as a viewer me saying oh well i can see it quite clearly over here you know feck you guys i mean it doesn't really help you out does it but I don't think it's terrible is what I think it's just not my favorite okay so next we're going to try the cherry blossom cream eyeshadow pen from a fuck 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 all your yeah okay so if I just do a little swatch this is what it looks like I wasn't quite sure how to go about um applying this to my eyelid like whether I should put like a transition shade on or not but I'm just gonna go ahead and just apply it straight to the lid so we can see it in its kind of full glory oh look this is another face this is applying cream eyeshadow kind of face i mean so 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 it's going on really 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 easily can you see it though like literally can can you actually see anything and you can see it it looks a little bit glittery like there's lots of little gold glitters in there on my hand it's kind of a pinky goldy kind of shade but kind of on my lid it's very opaque it's not the strongest or most visible kind of situation in the world guys unfortunately this is not giving me enough for me to be able to kind of say that i love it if you want a like creamy product that is going to just be quite sheer i mean obviously the different shades are going to be different but cherry blossom um i just feel like it's so fucking sheer i can see pink and i can see lots of gold glitter however it's just not really knocking my socks off i can't really see what situation i'm actually going to want to reach for this um you know in place of something else it does feel a little bit sticky up on my eyelids um, and i've got a feeling that it could potentially crease because can you see right now um but do you know what let's just leave it there we can keep our eyes on it for the rest of the video and um just see how it performs but in terms of how it looks it's not one that 
I would reach for. It's not blowing my panties off right now. Am I just being like super high maintenance today? I feel like, you know, very Shania Twain. That don't impress me much. It's like, come on, right, okay. Okay, so next we're gonna try the eyebrow fork. This is by Music Flower, and it's very similar to the uh, L'Oreal Micro Tattoo Brow. Um, so this is meant to give you like a micro bladed look. And the idea is, is that you use the little like fork and you just go like, oh wow, oh, oh, it's there. Gosh, look at that. Do you know my L'Oreal one? Like no product really came out from it. It was great the first time I used it and I loved it, but then it just seemed like it ran out of product. Oh my gosh, this one is coming through. It's doing it, oh my gosh, like this is great. <gasps> look at that. Oh, I'm really loving this. I am really, really happy with this oh my gosh and you can use like the flat side just for adding you know you know more of the product look at that though i mean look at that it looks very microbladed look at that eyebrow right now it looks like it's just you know going for gold if it was in the olympics it would have just won gold i feel look at it oh my gosh right okay so like let's do the other side we'll bring the other side into the into the world of fabulous eyebrows. I'm just gonna dip it in. Like one thing I always wonder is, oh, I can hear something like, oh, not hear, but I can feel something shaking inside. How does it replenish itself like the tip? Because with the L'Oreal one, like the reason why I was so amazed at like the fact this actually came out, the L'Oreal one was a struggle, like to feel like you're actually getting any of the product out. Okay, let's do this again. It's super, super easy to use. Oh my gosh, guys, like I really, really like this. I would definitely say this is maybe a shade too dark for me, uh, especially now with like my super light hair. I, I just feel like the eyebrows are look, looking like aliens upon my face. But I think the actual product is amazingly easy to use i think it gives you a really interesting like unique look to your eyebrows and um, it definitely does look like you know that kind of precise uh, stylish kind of micro bladed look i kind of love this guys i think it's pretty wonderful um, and i definitely would say if you're a fan of this kind of look definitely give the music flower liquid eyebrow pen a go this is the little box that it came in right here uh, oh my gosh, right, I love it. Oh, by the way, it's the Fine Sketch Liquid Eyebrow Pen, in case anybody is wondering. Okay, so I'm going to address the second rhinoceros in the room right now. So I went away to do my mascara. <laughs> And I was just watching a Petty Page video, right? So I was just absentmindedly watching her video, applying my mascara, and I thought, oh, I'll just pop on my little uh, lip plumper because I'm about to try out the Miss Rose double ended dildo. So I thought, yes, let's plump up those lips a little bit. And when, anyway, anyway, look, this happened. Oh my gosh, like literally, guys, I'm so sorry about that. I hope you're not offended by my massive lips right now, but. I mean, I'm kind of loving it. I can't say I'm not. Um, okay, so this is the Miss Rose. It doesn't actually kind of state the name of the actual product, but I will confirm all of the product descriptions and prices in the description box down below. Uh, so we've got a little lip liner over here and we have a lipstick over here. So I am going to attempt to apply the lip liner to my suddenly enormous lips. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so that is a bomb diggity, beautiful lip liner. I almost said eyeliner, but it's really, really creamy, easy to apply, and I love the shade. Oh, I forgot I had the lipstick on the other side. Okay, so next we're going to apply the lipstick portion of the double-ended dildo. I mean, really? Okay. It's matte, so it's a little bit, like, not draggy, but, you know, difficult to, like...
but actually seeing the um, lipstick applying face in action right now I love the shade of this this is absolutely gorgeous guys I feel like this could potentially be the best lip product that I've ever bought from AliExpress. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the shade. It's the most perfect pastel pink. It was easy to apply. It was a little bit like draggy, but not in like a terrible way. It just wasn't like, you know, sometimes you'll get like a very oily, like slidey kind of lipstick. This one is definitely more um, like a little bit more difficult to like it doesn't just slide across your lips but I feel like that's probably a good thing because hopefully it should like I think last for a little bit longer oh it's just beautiful it's beautiful I love the lip liner I love the lipstick I love them being in the same component I just think it's a genius idea and I'm definitely going to be picking up more this was in the shade uh, 06 Spanish Pink and I'm just loving it oh my gosh like this is the best lip product from AliExpress that I've ever, ever bought. I think it's just sensational. Sensational. Oh my God. Oh my God. Sensational. I mean, really, guys. I mean, really. Bomb to the dicty. Bomb to the dicty. Sensational. I mean, really. Oh, yes. I mean, really. I mean, what? I mean, really. Oh, yeah. Anyway, guys, right. I'm so sorry to have to have ended that cringeworthy uh, performance but that brings us to the end of the video I feel like we started off with a, a couple of products that I wasn't massively excited about uh, the cream highlighter and you know what this fuckle your stuff look how much it's creased oh my holy vaginas no 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 sir I'm totally not into it because it's creasing I mean it's actually quite pretty but look how do you stop it creasing like that? Unless you put on, you know, another eyeshadow over the top, but then that will just completely, you know, negate the need for even applying this because it's so fucking sheer. I must say though, now I've kind of blended out the creases. I think it's actually pretty, 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 pretty. I mean, really. The two products that really were the massive, massive sensations for me were the Music Flower Fine Sketch Liquid Eyebrow Pen and the Miss Rose double-ended dildo oh yes these two you definitely have to check out if you are a makeup junkie which i imagine you are i feel like i'm drumming now anyway guys i'm gonna leave you all in peace and get out of your way now but i hope that you're having a wonderful day thank you so much as always for watching my video if you made it all the way to the end i just thank you so much like i really do appreciate it and i'll be back soon with more bye oh my gosh i'm so annoying why am i so annoying today i think because i had two helpings of my vegetable chili and maybe i put too much five spice in it i just don't know but i'm feeling spicy today i'm feeling good today i mean really guys anyway 